Hello guys, my name is Rudy van Buren and this is my sim racing rig. One of the biggest priorities having a sim racing rig is the wheel. For me personally I'm using Logitech G1 but there are obviously different brands. With such wheel you get pedals. Earlier days we were using pedals with just two of them but nowadays pretty much every brand on the market uses a pedal with three pedals on it. With this Logitech steering wheel, one of the biggest priorities is the way the wheel gives the feedback to the driver to actually feel how, um, how the car is responding to every input we give. Um, one of the force feedback things you, you'll see is when we, we drive and we actually go off track, the wheel will start rumbling. So every little bit that we do on track, we instantly feel it through the steering wheel as well. If that's a lockup going into a corner with, with, with when you brake too hard, if that's hitting a curbstone or is that driving through the grass, every little bit will be transferred in that direction to our wheel uh, and we'll feel it that way. Um, on the wheel, you can see as well, we've got flippers on the, on the back end, both sides, obviously for up and down. It's what we kind of use in sim racing nowadays. In old school days it would be gear stick shift like you used in a real car, but 99% of all sim racers use the flippers. It, it looks racy, it feels racy, and it does the job. So, when you, when you take the step to, to go into sim racing and you buy a Logitech G product, you obviously got to set it up properly. Uh, once you unbox it and mount it to your desk or to your seat, um, and you plug it in by USB to the computer, You've got to install the drivers. 99% um, of the games are recognized by the driver from Logitech. Main priority setting up a wheel is making sure that the rotation that you actually give to the wheel is one-on-one -on -one with the rotation that the game accepts. If there's an offset in, in, in some way that the in-game does way more than what you want, it can be that in-game goes like, for example, this, and you overcorrect and accidentally go off the track. Pedal-wise, everything's pretty much standard. You just calibrate it from like the zero point to the maximum point. You can already see that the Logitech gaming software recognizes the games I use. They've got iRacing and R-Factor 2. And by doing so, we can actually um, uh, finalize some little settings. So for example, I've got the rotation of the wheel at 450 degrees, and you can change some little bits how the sensitivity of the wheel is. Through this Logitech gaming software, everything is adjustable. So that's, that's a really cool feature of this Logitech G steering wheel. Hello, my name is Mafi McConaughey, and you may know me from movies such as Interstellar. Subscribe to this channel.